Scottish Fold Cats are known for those iconic folded ears. Having said that, this presentation will not be discussing their adorable details. But we'll look at something more sobering. If you are entertaining the notion of welcoming a Scottish Fold into your home, here are six realities to be aware of. In 1961, on a Scottish farm, a kitten with folded ears was found in a litter of non-folded cats. And her name was Susie. She became the common ancestor of all Scottish folds. To preserve that unique look and develop the breed, Susie was bred with other cats. However, as her progeny became more widespread over time, veterinarians began noticing some disturbing patterns. Like humans, cats have two copies of most genes, and a single copy of the mutated gene produces the breed's signature ears. Susie the matriarch had a single copy of a naturally random defective gene and led a reasonably normal life. In contrast, her offspring down the line carried two copies of that mutated gene, which made them more prone to health problems. It was soon established that the inherited cartilage defect, also known as Scottish Fold Disease, causes other deformities throughout the body. Serious abnormalities in joints and bone growth progressively leads to arthritis, short stiff legs, spinal abnormalities, and even stiff tails. The discomfort and pain can cause the cat to be reluctant to engage in normal movements such as walking or jumping. So now you know why Scottish folds are mostly in low energy mode, which in a troubling way, is also part of the breed's draw. Cats who develop arthritis need long-term pain relief, as well as dietary supplements to slow the development of the debilitating disease. Sometimes surgery or radiotherapy can slow the progression of the disease. In extreme cases, euthanasia may be required on welfare grounds. With utmost care and attention, the lifespan of an indoor Scottish Fold can be as long as 15 years. Even so, this can mean forking out considerable sums of money for medical bills and even insurance premiums. This health condition is preventable simply by not breeding from any cats with folded ears. However, despite the obvious problems, many breeders still turn a blind eye, thanks to the high demand. To avoid potential deformities, breeders outcross Scottish folds with straight-eared cats, like British or American shorthairs. Usually, half the litter from these matings will have straight ears, and those kittens will generally lead healthy lives. However, the other half with folded ears are condemned to develop the painful disease previously mentioned. Scottish Fold Cats continue to be bred in the USA, Australia, and Asia, with marketing even focusing on the quality of the ear fold. This brings us to the next disturbing point. Scottish Fold's ears are categorized into three types single, double, and triple. A single fold is just a slight fold that only involves the ear tip. A double fold ear has about half the ear bending downward. A triple fold ear lies flat and shriveled, making the head appear rounder. The more folds there are on a cat, the higher the price it will command. As such, Many breeders will only breed those cats with double and triple folds. In doing so, they are perpetuating a disease state. While Scottish folds are adorable to look at, their cuteness has condemned them to a life of suffering they can't vocalize. 
when love for felines degenerates into an obsession with attractiveness. It's possible to love cats to death. Scottish Fold Cats are literally a dying breed. Thanks for watching. If you have found this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe for new content weekly.